direction and sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. Hello everybody, glad to see you back on my channel today, and I'm going to be playing Harbor Point Golf Course with a twist. The twist is if I double bogey or more hole, I'm going to have to be taking a bite out of a habanero. Stay tuned because there's going to be some very spicy moments in this video. And this starting off with a 419 yard hole, I hit a good drive, just it went a bit left. And I hit a pretty good three wood down the fairway. And now I had a tough lie in the rough. And I made a, I chunked the shot, and I was like, please, no, don't get a habanero on the first hole. So I was just really hoping to just get away f with the bogey, not to, if I ate a habanero on the first hole, that'd be really tough. And habaneros are like 80 times spicier than jalapeno, so I was really just trying to make this putt. And I missed my first putt, but yes, no habanero. all the satisfying noise compilation of that putt and now heading over to the beautiful 11th hole 320 yards and this drive was terrible I was sad to have hit a bad drive on this beautiful hole and there's just like it's just an awesome hole there's mountains in the distance and there's like this island and the water is so nice this is probably my favorite hole in the whole course so I really wanted to par bogey this one because it would be wouldn't be great if I had to eat a habanero on the best hole on the course. Ooh! I chunked a three wood again and it went like 30 yards. Not a very good shot there. Now this was my third shot with an eight iron bumping it down the hill a bit. And I made a great shot just rolling it short of the fringe. And a two putt very from nice. here could give me a bogey which means no habanero for this beautiful hole and that was an absolutely hideous putt it just kept on rolling and i couldn't stop it so now for my bogey no remember to subscribe because if you want me to have more videos like this they take a lot of time and a lot of pain so please subscribe and i made that putt which was super clutch and heading on to the 12th hole with a beautiful view. This one was a par three, playing about 110 yards with the pin in the middle. And I was hitting a seven iron, just going with a smooth swing and it worked out well. Curved to the left side of the green. And I was not going to get a habanero on this one. I already knew, which was a great. I was very happy with this. And now for birdie, didn't give it a great chance, but I'm going to be getting a par on this. So no habanero. I'll, I'll really take that. That's great for me and my taste buds and my mouth. Now teeing up on the 13th hole. I hit a drive where you don't want to be on this 285 yard hole. And my drive didn't even go that far. Now I had to knock a 6 iron out of here. And I hit the 6 iron a bit left of where I wanted. But it took a big bounce and almost crawled into the bunker. On this shot, I was just chipping over the bunker, trying not to put it in the bunker. And I have a cool multi-angle shot on this thanks to my parents. And it just landed. Um, it took a hard bounce and just kept on going. So, for my par. This would be um, upsetting if I didn't two-putt from here. Hefty break on this. Now, I was not leaving myself an easy putt for no habanero. So I was just I got it. really trying to make this putt. Darn it! 
first time eating, gonna take a bite of the habanero. I three putted the last hole and double bogeyed it, so gonna have to take a small bite of this habanero. Let's do it. That's a huge bite, Jamie. Can I have some water? <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. I hope I don't get any more double bogeys or I'm gonna have to go through this again. It's in my oh, throat now. Oh, <gasps> my mouth is burning after eating a chunk of that habanero teeing off on the 14th par four. After feeling extreme pain in my mouth, my throat burned like you just shoved a firecracker down there. I hit a pretty good drive on this 354 yard hole with the habanero energy power and it went on the right side of the rough and I hit a low three wood that went a little too close to the trees and the shot tracer looks funky since the camera is moving around a bit it's hard to shot trace when the camera moves around but now I was just hitting a little good old pitch shot I was doing pretty good with the pitch shots but I landed it short so now this was for my park I was hoping the two putt from here Ooh, too chunky even though two putting would be hard, I still thought I had a chance. And I was like, please no more habanero, because I don't want my mouth to go through that. And take your guess, is it gonna go in? Yes, it does, let's go. My mouth slowly got better, and it wasn't quite all the way better yet, but my, my throat still burned a bit, and didn't. I wasn't feeling great after taking a bite of that. But I hit a bomb drive on this. It didn't carry that far, but it rolled out all the way almost down this hill, which is a few hundred, maybe 200 yards. And now it, I bounced, I got an incredible bounce with a six iron off a hill and it rolled onto the green. Probably one of the luckiest bounces ever, or I'd be dancing with the habanero. <laughs> yeah, boy. After making an awesome first putt, I made it in for par. Now, on the 16th hole, I was like, yes, a par three. This one will be hard to double bogey. And I just hit a six iron because it's 127 yards and the pin was at the front. And I hit a perfect shot. You can see the ball kind of bounce and it goes right onto the green. It didn't get the great bounce or it was gonna go right at the hole. And this putt, it was very close, but it broke right at the end. So I was just gonna put this one in for par. After getting another par and dodging a habanero another time, I was happy for now and my taste buds were healing slowly. Now on the last two holes, I was hoping to get no more habanero. And this is actually hole 17. I just made an error with the shot tracer. I'm sorry about that. But I made a, a bad drive. I pushed it into the rough and I had a tough lie because when your feet are like this, you want to hit it left. And I did exactly that. I hit it left and it rolled all the way down this hill into the trees, into this um, terrible place. And I, I just, I had no idea what to do here. <laughs> and here's a top compilation of this shot over and over. After the top compilation, I was trying to hit on for four and put in for five. Otherwise, I'd be eating another chunk of that habanero, and probably it goes, the first bite's the least spicy, second's the next spicy, and third is the most spicy. And look at this pot. No! I was really confused about how that didn't go in, and I lip out right when I don't need to, and that's just very upsetting. Coming up on the 18th hole, par five, after I double bogeyed that par four, after hitting a bad second shot. I've already eaten this much pepper. I'm gonna be taking a pretty big bite here. As you can see, there's a lot of seeds. Let's do this. Oh, that was big. Oh. Okay, let's see it. Oh. Let's We're out of water. As you can see, I'm dying a bit here. So please subscribe or my. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I need water.
My mouth currently feels like someone put dynamite in it and my ears feel like they're gonna pop. And I, I'm not sure if I lost all my taste buds, so please like, because that, that might heal my taste buds a bit. And now I'd be really surprised if I hit this drive more than 100 yards. After feeling incredible pain in my mouth, especially my tongue, I was getting prepared to hit this drive. And I actually hit a relatively good drive, saying how much pain I was in. And can you spot the difference on this? Here's me and a guy doing the limbo. I don't think there's any difference. I, you can say that there's a difference, but I don't think so. And now I was hitting a second shot here, and the finish isn't great, but I I hit it down the fairway, so that's all that matters. And now I was trying to go for the close to the green, but I ended up not getting close and just laying up into the fairway, which I'm fine with. That's, that's good, and now I was hitting a pitch shot, hoping to get on the green. It was at this moment that he knew. And that was the worst shot ever, and I did not think I could do any worse than that. Now I was hitting out of the bunker, and I needed to get up and down from the bunker. One pot, one chip, and I made a great bunker shot, but here's my putt for no habanero. No! And I completely missed, not even close. That was such a bad putt. And I knew it was habanero time. I muted the next clips because um, the music in this place is really loud. We went to a brewery, so I had a cold root beer and pretzels to handle this habanero. And I ate the rest of it. That was pretty crazy. A few minutes later. I was in extreme pain. My tummy didn't had felt nothing like this and my mouth felt like it was being burned. More moments later. And this habanero was absolutely killing me. I think it beat me in the fight. But it's my fault for double bogeying all the holes. And I kind of um, squirted root beer out of my mouth a bit. And my dad kept on telling funny jokes, so that's why I'm laughing. But I finished the full habanero in this video, which probably wasn't a smart idea. I probably should have only taken one bite um, on that last double bogey. Later that same evening. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. One hour later. I finished eating the habanero and I'm okay now, but I was wiped out for at least 10 minutes, so habaneros are 300,000 Scoville or more, so they're incredibly hot, as you can tell. And I just wanted to say I'm okay now. Habaneros come from 100,000 to 350,000, but I think I got a 300,000 one since it was so hot. And also, if you think I'm exaggerating or habaneros aren't spicy, I'd like to see you try one and send me a video.